Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we have another items that sold in 10 days or less from my Facebook group. So I invited Facebook members to share a bolo that sold fast. I mean, we all love the fast bolos, but a lot of these are big money also. So it's like a win-win. They sold fast and for big money. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. If you would like to be included in a video like this, just go over to my Bolo Buddies group and join. And there are uh, posts under the featured and announcements section in the group, and you'll see them up there. They're saved, pinned to the top, and you guys can share Bolo. It is completely private unless you are a Bolo Buddies member. If you are a Bolo Buddies member, you do get the perks and you get the shout out in this video. So if you hear me shout out a channel or an eBay store, that is why they're a Bolo Buddies member. This channel is completely free, but you are welcome to join the memberships for perks. There's a link down in the description. Are you right? Blah, blah. Are you ready to see some Bolos? Um, if you don't know, a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. These are items that you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Let's get started with the first one. Okay, I this one's kind of long. I, so what I'm doing is I'm reading the post to you guys, what they wrote, and then I'm popping up the screenshot for you to see. So it's a great way to learn. I saved this post this morning so I could go through and look at the bolos. Little did I know I would be posting tonight with my fastest sale for this amount. We've sold items that went for 300 to 400, but this was crazy. Went to the Habitat Restore today, picked up a big Ziploc bag of what I thought was vintage fabric pieces and some old older doll clothes for $2. When I got home and went through it, I found Barbie clothes from the 60s, a wedding dress with a veil, and then this magenta lined coat with matching dress. I found one comp, a sold, none listed. It went for $140.50 with five bidders. So I listed mine right away for 85, five day auction. I got an offer within a few hours for 200, took it and they already paid. Happy mama tonight, she said. Um, here's my listing, the offer and the payment details. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, that vintage Barbie stuff, some of it can go crazy. The whole bag was $2. So that was a super score. Bought this cross stitch kit at a thrift store for $2.99. Sold within an hour after listing for $67.95 plus shipping. Sold internationally. Best part is I have five more of these to sell. And this is what it looks like. It is a Eva Rosin Stand Bird on Wheat cross stitch. Very cool. All right. Some vintage... R.L. Stein paperback books, Goosebumps and Fear Street, published in the 90s, are a bolo on their own. These aren't those, but even a common book is worth usually five to 10 to the right buyer. So a lot of those just common can bring decent money. Paid 25 cents a book on these at a church thrift and sold for 100, shipped within four days of listing. If they didn't have inscriptions inside the covers, I probably could have gotten about 125. So a lot of times people will lot these Goosebumps books and the other is Fear Street. And I have sold Goosebumps. They do very, very well. I picked up three new Canon toner cartridges at the Habitat Restore. Each are paid $4 each, so 12 spent. Had them listed for $159.99, took a best offer of $140, sold in about two weeks. The Habitat stores have more than just building materials, so don't pass them up. I bought this little ceramic witch figure figurine at an estate sale, paid a dollar. It sold in one day for 10, not a bolo, but I loved it. Based my price on comps. So I'm looking at that and I'm like, I think it should have sold for more than, way more than 10. Um, I don't know if it's vintage or not. So, but either way, Halloween items are a great item to be on the lookout for. Um, they sell quickly a lot. So this is a really cool piece. Burberry tie. Got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents. Sold in two days for $40. Yeah, Burberry is just a great, 
item. You can usually recognize it by the pattern, but do be careful because a lot of times they can be faked. I got, or wait, got it at Assistance League of San Diego thrift store. Paid 18, sold for 85 plus. Buyer paid 1420 in shipping. Took two days to sell first time, returned for fit. Took one day to sell the second time. Sold with it without any inserts, noted in description. So it looks like it's just a fast item. They're, um, is that an I or an L? Loa, L-O-W-A, Camino GTX Gore-Tex hiking boots. That's what they look like. Got at Rancho Coastal Humane Society Thrift. Paid $12. Sold for $124 plus buyer paid shipping. Took two days to sell. They are vintage 80s Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star Christmas plaid. How cool is that? Jingle bells. $124. Bucks. Okay, the next one is an estate sale purchase. $5. Sold for full asking price in the same day. Um, Minolota, Minolota, I don't know, M-I-N-O-L-T-A. It's a camera from Japan, $59.99 on that one, right there. Books are my bread and butter when nothing else sells. $1.50 for two at the Goodwill, six days to sell for the asking price. So you got uh, Johanna Lindsay, and they're both Johanna Lindsay, so they're paperback. Nope, hardcover, hardcover, and then a first printing. But the two books together sold for $25, so plus shipping. So a great bread and butter. Found these at a yard sale today for a dollar for both. I sold them within 30 minutes for $100. So I have a Bolo category video on Kiss Band items. They can go for crazy money. Um, these are Kiss Band 1977 metal belt buckle lot of two. I don't know if she undersold them or not. Um, I probably would have done an auction and started it at $99 and just felt out the market. But she may have searched comps. I don't know. But some of that Kiss Band stuff can go for crazy money. And these are super cool. So uh, still, a buck for both and sold it for 100 is fantastic. And that's what it looks like. Picked up this piece at the Goodwill for $5. It was listed for one day before I took a best offer on Mercari of $94. Buyer paid shipping. Rainy Paris Street. It is an oil painting signed by the artist. This one comes from uh, Mindful Recycle, Terry. And she is a moderator of this group. So go show her some love with a sub on her YouTube channel. She is a big money bolo finder. You will learn so much from her. And she picked this up at an estate sale a few weeks ago um, with around 10 other Fitz and Floyd. I did pay the most for this one. All the others I paid five to 10. Uh, sold in about a week. Paid 45 and sold it for $199. And the buyer paid shipping. So a very cool Easter looking um, old world rabbit but could definitely be considered Easter. All right. This one comes from um, Katie and Vicky. They have a YouTube channel. They are both Bolo finders. If you guys want to learn about Bolo items, uh, a lot of vintage clothing, both men's and women's clothing, but also hard goods. But they know their stuff. They are some of the most knowledgeable resellers. Their channel is amazing. So go check them out. They got this at the Goodwill Bins, paid two to three dollars for it. Sold for full price, you see on the screen of $79.95. Sold in three to four days. One of the highest price sales for this item, if not the highest. And they're not that hard to find. So I'm not sure why there's why they sold it so high, but they have lots of tips and tricks over on their channel. So definitely check them out. This one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Paid less than 50 cents at the Goodwill outlet, a.k.a. the bins. Listed it last night and just sold for $30.49 all in for a used, reusable shopping bag. It's going to Canada, and she just did a video on reusable bags on her channel. So go check that out. I did watch that video. Crazy what these reusable bags go for. I mean, just unreal. This one is Trader Joe's, and it sold for $18.99 plus shipping, and this is what it looks like. But I highly recommend that you go check out that video. 
and she does it weekly. She picks a category and does a live show and gets a whole bunch of information pulled up and ready to go and then teaches. It's really good. Um, online estate auction came in box with other vintage stuff and Coleman lantern, which just sold for 10 plus shipping, won the box with highest bid of $6. Buyer was all in for 94, sold about a week after it was listed. So it is a Coleman heater, 94. Looks like $94.99 actually. Online estate auction, one for 20, listed under seven day auction and ended at 145 plus shipping. Took about two weeks to sell. It's a realistic L or Lab 440 direct drive turntable record player. This one was sold by the moderator and YouTuber, Be Carried Away. She bought it for $10 in a case of Barbies found at a uh, thrift store to benefit the community of Alexandria Bay, New York on the St. Lawrence River. Listed at auction for seven days, then immediately for a fair offer when the auction ended. It sold for $125 plus shipping. Okay, this one's cool. Got this at a thrift store for a couple bucks. Sold in about two days. The larger one is the most valuable. If they were in better shape, I could have gotten more, but they were pretty roughed up. And there is also supposed to be three. The full set of three in decent shape can go for over $400. She sold these for $120. Vintage Sexton set of two Siamese cat metal wall hangings, mid-century modern. I picked this up at the Goodwill for $8. Listed it for $112. Took best offer of $100. Sold in less than 24 hours. The good thing is there were two of them. Easton softball bat. It's a softball bat. This one came from Value Village, paid $2.99, sold it for buy it now price of 70 and the buyer paid 23 shipping internationally. My first eBay sale ever, that is awesome, sold in a week. Saw these on one of your Bolo videos and just happened to find two at Value Village. The other one is up for sale at 165, comps are at 180. That is so awesome, thank you for sharing. Um, five Nights at Freddy's, so I'm not sure exactly what this is, but that is what it looks like. Very cool. Scored this rare vintage ponytail Barbie at my local thrift store for $24. Started auction at $99 for seven days and sold it at $276 plus shipping. Always do your research on Barbies. These beauties can go for hundreds to thousands depending on the issued number. Got for free from my husband's uncle. Sold for full asking price in less than 24 hours. Could have maybe asked for more, but wanted a quick sale. It is a Kodak. Yes, it's a slide projector. $69. That's what it looks like. This one comes from the Rebel Reseller. She is like amazing at finding plush to sell. She got this at the Habitat Restore Thrift Store for two bucks and sold the same day it was listed on best offer of $100. It is a Play School Rubba Dubbers Wyona Whale plush. It's only seven inches, you guys, 100 bucks. That is awesome. Okay, I got this big money bolo. Got it from a real estate cleanup lady for free. Listed for $19.99, like $1,999. After some back and forth offers, took an offer of 1,380 plus shipping. He said, I sell on Amazon FBA and was about to send it out to them, but I decided to list on eBay as a set just this past Sunday. Took five days to sell. Um, I'm trying to see what it is. Atlas of Topographical and Applied Human Anatomy, second edition complete set one and two. So I'll try to pop it up here, make it bigger than what I can see. Pulled these cartridge cartridges in St Staples dumpster. One pack was open, sold in a week for full asking price of $40. Yeah. So they're cartridges by brother. Staples dumpster. That's unbelievable, right? Paid zero from a storage locker. I already made my money back on. Sold in 48 hours. I was not the cheapest one. So still sold and wasn't the cheapest. And it still sold fast. Sony microphone stereo 
um, condenser one point vintage made in Japan. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Paid zero from a storage locker. Lenses were shot. Uh, sold in 48 hours. So the lens need replaced. Uh, Oakley Twitch sunglasses. Sold for $59.99 plus, uh, I'm sorry, free shipping on that one. I'm new, so this was my first over $100 sale. Well, congratulations and thank you for sharing. Paid $3 at a local thrift store. Auction was seven days. I truly ex expected 30 bucks. They were like 10 people fighting for it. It's a vintage stained glass Tiffany style clamshell lamp working condition. Sold for $127.50. Paid $4 and it sold in 24 hours. It is a... Orla, O-R-L-A, Keely, K-I-E-L-Y, London Green Leather Bucket Hat. How cute is that? Um, sold it for $50 on Poshmark. These have been in my, they call it a death pile. I call it a money pile for months. I didn't realize how much they were worth until I went to list them. They sold within a few hours. I accepted a best offer. Could have held out for more, but went for the quick flip because I bought them at the bins and only had $2 in them. Wow, $250. Vintage Asics Pursuit wrestling shoes. How cool is that? I had no idea what these tools were for when I trash picked them. They were at the curb of a clean out house, so free to me. They were also a bunch of vintage plumbing hooks, and one of the books showed this type of tool set and put a name to them. I couldn't find a sold. I couldn't find sold comps, so I put them up for $19.99. I was stunned when they sold for full price overnight. It's definitely possible I underpriced them, but I'll take an overnight, zero cost, $20. So they're vintage plumbers, yarnings, caulking tools, and chisels. <gasps> oh, I wonder if they would have went for more. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments if uh, anybody knows about those vintage plumbing tools. We are caught up on that. I'm going to leave that one open. Um, I just think that 10 days or less, items that sell for 10 days or less, I'm just intrigued by them. Whether they're bread and butter or they're big money, those are items that I want to be looking for. I want those quick sales. So this post should still be open if you go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Uh, there's a link down below to join. There's also a bunch of other links of things that I use in my reselling business. So you can check out those links down below. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you hit that bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. And leave me an owl emoji if you made it to the end. Thanks for watching.